blowing up quickly isn't the goal you should have for your channel or your business. Let me explain. When I first started this thing a long time ago now, it was to get really, if not immediate, really fast results to blow up quickly. And I read everything and I tried to do everything and invest in equipment and all that kind of stuff. And then because I had something very important I had to accomplish right away. I don't know if I just said that. Hey everyone, this is Cast Contents. Thank you so much for coming today. So you're about to blow up. Why should it be something that, or why is it not the thing to think about? I'll tell you why. Something I've learned is as I've gone along in this journey is that patience is key. Patience is key. Patience is not something that a lot of people have. It's not a virtue that is instilled in us, especially not right now. But if you learn that patience is important, not just learn to be patient as a person, because that takes time, that takes, it's developing a skill. But if you learn that it's important, if you learn that you are playing the long game, that is the most important thing in this thing, this business, this growth, this channel explosion, whatever the case may be. Because if you blow up right away, I mean, it's great. You know, you have the followers, you have the, but you also don't have a lot of things. You may not have any experience. You may not have any maturity. You, you may not have any foresight. You may not have a lot of things that are required to keep this thing going. You might not interact with your audience at all and lose them as quickly as you've gained them. I mean, there's just so many factors at play. And the, the key thing is that you, you want to build a base. You want to build a solid foundation from which to grow what you are doing, be it a channel or some other business, or to grow other things within your, your business, under your business umbrella or other types of businesses. And as I said, if you just go, you can just as quickly go and then lose. I mean, you can start again and people, entrepreneurs, they start again and again and again and again and again until they get it right. But I think that having that massive success right away and then falling, it's just like, it's, you know, the higher you go, the harder you fall you know, it's, it's, it's harder. It might do such not good things to your brain. It might make it very difficult for you to get back up and go again. Or maybe you did something to shoot up quickly that ruined your reputation, which I'm not saying that reputations can't be fixed. I think reputations can sometimes very easily be fixed but sometimes they can't it depends on how bad the fuck up was how big it was I, I I don't know just kind of these days I feel like it's a case by case basis with that kind of thing but another thing for me when I started it was all about the growth the the explosion and and when you're just focused on that you're probably not focused on the work the importance of the work i've heard it called deep work a lot lately that's what's important is is what you are building do you care about what you are building i mean i don't think that you have to care about what you're building 
to have financial success. I think there's a lot of examples of people who build financial success and they don't care about what they're doing, not, you know, deeply, not with deep within themselves. They just, they really work hard at making the money. But caring about what you're doing, building relationships, these things will make you resilient. They should make you grow bigger. And then if you fall, you should be able to pick yourself back up. I know with Martha Stewart, I mean, I think everyone knows what happened there. And they said that she would never be able to repair her career, her reputation. And I think she did so within two years of the the not so great thing that happened because she's, I mean, a formidable woman. She's, she's tenacious, she's, she's hardworking as anything. And she'd also built relationships before the bad thing happened that she probably was able to reconnect with and rebuild. The first explosion shouldn't be the thing because it's not the thing. It's great. It's it's exciting. It means something, but it's not the thing. The work is the thing. The relationship, the, the business, the core, that's the thing. That's what will, that's what is the success, the big success over time. The explosion, who knows? Who knows what it'll be? Great, short-lived, who knows? It's, it's about wanting. That's, that's, what, that's what I really learned. It's about wanting to do the work, wanting to better yourself, wanting to learn all of the, the things that I didn't want to do when I started. All of the things I thought, oh yeah, no, 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 it'll be easy. The internet's going to make it easy and it's going to be quick and, you know, whatever. You sail into La La Land. It's like, no, over time, I guess with maturity, you you start to really want to do the work. Start to really want to grow your skills, learn, connect with people, learn from them, open yourselves, yourself up to learning from other people, asking other people for advice for their expertise. These are all things that are very important in the process. So I just wanted to hop on here and say that today. This is Cast Content, and if you could like and subscribe today, that would be great. And I will see you in the next video.